You know, before I started making the film, I was actually uh, I actually went to Thailand on a separate trip. I think maybe a year before we we all flew down to Thailand, and and I needed that separate trip because it was a research trip for me to go down to Thailand to understand more about elephants, so I could write the script better. Because before that, everything I knew about elephants were from books, was from documentaries. Uh, was from the zoo, but then I felt like I needed to live with elephants in order to write the script. So then, when I was there for the research trip, Bong was actually the first elephant I met, and I will always remember like my first meeting of Bong, um, and I think he was the first elephant that I could really come into close contact with and interact. So then I remember like it was like early, early in the morning, and I and I literally ran to the field when I saw him, and I and I always remember how he looked at me, like you know, like he's like this elephant, and he was looking at me, he's like, oh, what is this human? And but somehow in his gaze, I felt like he's like a really, really good soul, and I sense like really good energy from him, and he he almost felt too perfect to play the role. He was like an elephant's elephant, um, like I wanted an elephant that felt more indie, more raw. Um, that could immediately evoke, I guess, like pity, but he was just a very majestic one. But then subsequently, um, when I went back to Thailand closer to the shooting date to start casting really for elephants, I met like many, 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 many different elephants, I think maybe close to a hundred elephants, but somehow none of them, like none of them struck me the way that Bong struck me. Like Bong, it was just like instant, like I could just feel something. Whereas for everyone, it's okay, this one is like poor thing, but then also something is missing, like I just didn't feel the connection. So in the end, I went back with him. Hey. For the role of Tana, we actually had some difficulty finding him because, uh, I mean, it's a very, very... The whole film is basically about Tana, so we needed someone who was really good. Um, so we were actually open to casting professional actors until suddenly one of my good friends, uh, his name is uh, Prabda Yoon, he, he wrote Last Life in the Universe. He, he, was, he actually said like, hey, actually there's an ex-rock star in Thailand and he's very interesting, I love his music, why don't you try him out? And then so that brought me to, to uh, uh, Tanit, who at that point was actually um, in hibernation. He actually stopped playing music for a long time already. Then he read the script and he really loved the script. I mean, that's what he told me and that's why he came on board. And um, during the, I guess during the casting session, I found that he, he was extremely natural. Like, like, there was nothing he did that felt unnatural. And I think the, the, the cool thing is probably it's because he, it came from his music background, like he used to be a performer. So then he's just very, very comfortable on camera. And I think he understood the role very well also because he's someone who has lived through like the ups and the downs in life. Like he was once a huge rock star, suddenly left the limelight. And, um, and yeah, I, I felt like he understood like very well. Like I, I think the different nuances and colors that life sometimes gives and that life can take away suddenly or so. So then he, and, and, and yeah, and he was great when he was during the audition, so then it was, I guess, it was a good match. The whole experience was very, very tough. And I mean, I think a lot of the difficulty actually came with the elephant. The elephant himself was very nice, but, um, but the logistics around the elephant was very complicated. Like there are so many permits to clear, uh, people and passerbys to clear also, because every time there was an elephant, everyone would like be looking and then we had to like, the ADs would have to tell them to okay, look somewhere else. Finding locations that would allow the elephant is difficult. And also because it's a road movie, we had many, many location moves. And when you're trying to do location moves with an elephant, that's even more difficult. And, and also the, the weather in Thailand at that point, like we just somehow miraculously got the hottest summer in like 40 years. So I think the, 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 some, some days it hit like 45 degrees. And so it, it was just like, I, I think the heat actually contributed a lot to the, 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 the physical difficulty. But at the same time, that was very good for the actor because he didn't have to act tired. He was already tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, because it was quite a big film, it's a big shoot, so 
and, but at the same time things have to move along quite well like quite fast in some ways because we had so many different locations so i think ev everything added together to to make this experience like quite challenging